Is only a flesh wound. Ugh, ah, ah, ah. Ha! You only shot my vital organs and limbs. You got nothing else. What can you do to me now? Ha! Got you again. You don't even know how to operate a gun. Hey guys, welcome to my 13th walkthrough. Today we're going to take on a game that is from one of my favorite game series, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sick. Wait, 13th game? And a Dark Souls title. This is a really scary coincidence. But anyway, yes, the Dark Souls series is one of my favorite series of games. I love the gameplay, the difficulty and the challenge of all the enemies, the tactics you have to use, which most of them are cheap, let's be honest. The environment, figuring out the story for yourself. Every time you play, and every person that plays it plays it differently, making their own story. And just the series mindset overall of how the game itself hates you. I love that. Not to mention, you know, it's medieval fantasy. So, I'm there. I love Dark Souls 1. I love Bloodborne. If none of you guys have played that, I highly suggest it. And I wanted to save Dark Souls 2 for you guys. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS3, so I haven't played Demon Souls. So, there you go. But still, I highly recommend all of the games. Now a lot of you may be out there wondering, but Max, they've already released Dark Souls 2, so what's the difference between Dark Souls 2 and Scars of the First Sin? Well, there was a few, you know, like graphical updates and speed updates, and you know, like small bug fixes and stuff like that, but the biggest reason that we are playing this game instead of the original is because this game was literally built to be a harder version of Dark Souls 2. So I mean, why play an already ridiculously hard game when we can instead play an upgraded and even harder version of the same ridiculous game. I mean, it's kind of like you know, why we did Master Quest instead of Normal in Ocarina of Time. Why do something easier, even if it's already difficult, when we can do something even harder and better? You know, for gloating reasons. Like, I see no reason to do the original now that we have so the first thing. I mean, plus the name. The name sounds awesome. Now, as I mentioned, the Dark Souls series is very odd about how you can do things however you want. It doesn't matter. So, I'm just gonna throw this out there right now. As much as I will try to be like helpful and nice, we only have one goal in this walkthrough. To kill all the bosses. That's it. Murderous intent to kill all the bosses. I don't care about getting all the items, finding all the shortcuts, talking to all the people, joining all the guilds, getting all the upgrades. I don't care about any of that. Of course, I'll do stuff like that. I'll try to do stuff like that. But don't expect me to individually have speed up episodes of me finding them all and showing them to you. It's literally just going to be about the journey of me trying to figure out this game. Now with the bosses, I'm going to try to be helpful and stuff, but that'll be after I die 30 times. I'm not saying I'm going to be like less helpful, but it's more silly. It's more free and roaming and... WORDS! Look, if I go like this, it makes my arm a windmill. But regardless of the windmill arm... WORDS! I think you understand the significance. So yes, that's going to be our one goal. The most memorable thing about the Dark Souls games, the bosses, we're going to defeat them all. 
and all the episodes are going to be based around either the bosses or time. We're going to like focus on one of the one of these two. Yes, obviously, I know in Dark Souls is a really big problem with. Actually, it's not a problem so much as um operator error. I'm going to call it about you know you running off and then all of a sudden just falling off a cliff. So obviously, I'm going to speed through stuff like that, and we're going to show every time I die and just for fun have a little clicker. Just so you can see how many times by the end of the series, I died. It's gonna be a lot. I mean, did you see the video intro? The skit? It's worse than that. It really is. Except their guns don't jam. Mine did. I don't even know why. I mean, he stole my own gun and shot me to death. The nerve of the guy. The treachery of the situation. I mean, come on! I think it'll also make it worse the fact that I haven't like really looked up the storyline to this game at all. So I don't even know what's going on there. Maybe I'll look it up for like 10 seconds just to explain to you guys the base premise. Like, I remember when I was playing um, Bloodborne, I didn't really know the storyline until I, honestly, I didn't know the storyline until I looked it up. I was like, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, I have a disease. We're trying to get it cured. Alright, that's easy, you know? So I'll look up the storyline, like right now I have no idea what it is other than the fact that it's Dark Souls. I really don't need to know much more than that. So praise the sun, and I will praise, even if it's overcast right now, that we're finally going to get started with this game. I'm really excited about it, and I hope you guys will really enjoy it, even if I die nigh on 50 times from the tutorial. So see you then. Really though, Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, our 13th game, that strikes me as like a really scary foreshadowing like you wouldn't believe. I, I mean, Majora, what do you think? Whatever. I think it's fitting. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I hope you just die. A lot. Don't make me kick your butt again. Oh, really? Yes. Re oh, really? Yes. Re re really? 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 Re oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the time that I killed you with your own two kunai, stabbed you with your own samurai sword, and then stole your own gun and hit you with two full clips of ammo. Not to mention the 30 times you died afterwards after that. And the only way you finally beat me was because you managed to get a torch check and a Greninja. You barely struck the final blow. At all. They did most of the work. I don't know what she's talking about. That's wrong, by the way. Whatever. I'm going to have a fantastic view of you utterly failing, miserably. I'll try to get in a better relationship with him. I mean, he's still a little bit bitter about how I beat his game and then beat him in real life.